to the sky Never let adventures pass you by Be free and follow your crazy dreams We're living our vision in the RV Come ride with us and you'll be free Masasa 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 Homo's ass Sis Homo-sasa Homo's ass it's actually Ellie Schiller, Homosassa Springs Wildlife State Park. Homosassa Springs. We're going to a park. Ready to go see Lou. You guys want to see Lou? Who's Lou? You haven't heard about Lou? Lou's an old heart. You have to decide how to get over to here, and there are four ways that you can do it. Okay. If you're a walker, you can walk, and uh, it's a, it'll be a mile this way. Mm -hmm. A mile through the park and a mile back. Okay. You can take the uh, pontoon boat, which is going to be leaving at one o'clock. There's a three dollar charge for adult for that, but okay. you can take that back too if you want it. Or you could drive to the other side. What you would do is go out and make a U-turn. Mm -hmm. Then you're going to make a left turn at the light, a left at the first street, a left at the next street, and then a parking lot's going to be at your left. So it's U-turn, okay. left, left, left. Okay. Or you can, yeah. Or, or you can just take one the of boat those ride. things. That would be kind of fun. I know. That's you want to take a boat yeah. ride? Yeah. And it's at one, so you said? The gal? 3236. 3236. In case you didn't hear the lady talking, there's three ways to get over there. You can take your vehicle from here, from the visitor center, and, and drive down the road and around to the other parking lot that gets you closer. Or you can take a boat ride from here that, that is $3 a person. Mm -hmm. The next one for us is here at 1 o'clock, and we got 12 minutes left. 3.30 is the last time that the boat comes back. So oh, we're yeah. going to take That's the boat down. It takes about a 15-minute boat ride there. The tram, though, um, it does run till 5.30. Let's go see Lou. A bunch of jobs. Spirit gun? I got, got some spirit gun. Plenty of silver. It's like we're gonna head into the jungle here. Welcome to the jungle. Who's your mother? We got on the creek. So we are seeing some turtles today. Haven't seen an alligator yet. We'll see some ducks. We'll see, I saw a pileated woodpecker earlier. Um, so we never know what we're gonna see. water that you are traveling on right now is called Pepper Creek. Pepper Creek gets its name from the Indian word homosasa. Homosasa actually has a couple different meanings, but the meaning that we choose to use when I, we are traveling on Pepper Creek is where the wild peppers grow. Beautiful palm tree that's right straight in front of you right now is called a sable palm. Sable palm is the state tree of Florida. It's also where hearts of palm come from, if you've ever had hearts of palm in a salad, or just eat hearts of palm. Grow that Florida cash crop, when they do harvest that, it looks like a big ball of, of, of cabbage on the top of that tree. It's unfortunate that when they do take that ball off of the tree, or the hearts of palm, it does kill the tree. Hearts of palm is pretty yummy if you've ever had it before. Back in the early, early 1800s, early 1900s, they harvested some uh, cedar trees down here that were as big as a small automobile at the base. Unfortunately, they harvested those trees to the point where they harvested themselves right out of a job. 
Right to your left, that is a, actually a wood duck nesting box. But of course, spider monkeys do climb like other monkeys do. So when the trees grew out over the creek and the boats would pass underneath the trees, the monkeys would climb out onto the trees. They'd jump down onto the boats. They'd grab a hold of anything they could get a hold of. Your hat, your sunglasses, your camera bag, whatever they wanted to pretty much. And the monkeys would gleefully go scampering back off onto the island, laughing all the way with their newfound possessions. Of course, the people that were losing those possessions didn't think that was all that fun. So the people that owned the park had to find a different place for the monkeys. Turtles are finding that little bit of sun's coming out a little warmer than the water. The water is actually 72 degrees. So this is the tram station and where the boat drops you off, but here's the other parking lot if you decide to drive down here. back at the other place you can pay for it here. Look at all this fish. Little fish, yeah. Holy cow, they're all over over there. Is that Lou over there? I just saw an ear or eye move. Let's go see Lou. It's not too bad end of the day. It's, it's not gorgeous. too hot. It's right. 68 degrees right now. I don't think we're gonna get to see much. He's sitting in there. Can't see him very good from here, but all the fish swimming around his back, eating off of his back. Kind of like they do on uh, manatees. I guess we're supposed to keep going this way and then we'll come back around. Hopefully Lou will come out to play. Yeah, he's taking a nap right now. Lou doesn't want all these whippersnappers bothering him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> kind of like a zoo, isn't it? Yeah. I see nothing in here. I think that's what's supposed to be in here. They must be napping too. Please tell me he's not loose. Called a fox squirrel. There's a tortoise right there too. Two tortoises. Like what? <laughs> Homosassa Springs Wildlife State Park is home to alligators, black bears, red wolves, key deer, and whooping cranes, each serving as their species ambassador. All of the animal inhabitants are in the state park for the same reason. They are unable to survive in the wild on their own. I think this guy may have ate his friend. <laughs> Evidence hanging from his beak. <laughs> Did uh, you eat your buddy? <laughs> Levi 
giant peepers. Oh, love, love birds. birds. The most endangered crane species in the world. I got my stick. I got my stick. Yeah, I think I have this standing right in front of the front. Yeah, shaking his tail feather. Ew, here he comes. That's a panther. Here, kitty, kitty, kitty. Kitty, 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 kitty. I'm just gonna wait here for you. <laughs> you know, shouldn't be long. <laughs> you don't look so well. Otters are next. Oh, really? But I don't know if we're going to see You them. see any otters? The, the otter one? We might have went the otter way. Ew. <laughs> oh, wow. No, a gator. Oh, really? Yeah, right there. Big guy. They're always smiling. Oh, there's another one right over there. He's all dried up. No, yeah. right below you over there. <laughs> My goodness, are those your teeth? You might have ate too many bones. I only got my two front teeth left. All up for Christmas is the rest of my teeth. You want to go see reptiles? Sure. You do? I'm not a fan of reptiles. You, you're slimy. So slithery. Wow, look at that. Oh, great. So let's go in. <laughs> he might know where the best pie places are. <laughs> Just a hunch. See you later, sucker. <laughs> I've had enough. I don't like them. Nope.
big alligator over here. Well, not really big, but. I like how shaded this is, even if it's a hot mm -hmm. day. There's yeah. a lot of shaded areas like this. It's a pleasant walk and, around. And there's food. Here's the splatter zone they're referring to by the hippo. So what is the splatter zone? Just look at the sign, you'll understand. You don't want to be here when he gets over here. Ew. <laughs> don't touch anything right here. Ugh. Did you touch the rail? This is the Manatee Care Center. And then it looks like they can open this gate to let them out. Oh. They're free to go out. Manatee right underneath you. Oh, yeah. Hi. Follow me, guys. Yeah. They just keep coming. Jeez. It must be rush hour. There's a whole bunch of them right here. Look. The thing about traveling as a couple is that it makes you realize the parallels between travel and love. Sometimes what we're seeking when we travel is the same thing we're looking for in another person or a relationship. When you have both, your world will change forever. <laughs> Holy that cow, big. look at the size of that, that one. Like a oh, that's seen. the biggest one I've seen. Wow. As we travel this beautiful country, the one thing that I love the most is watching Michelle's eyes light up and matching her beautiful smile. Every time, I instantly realize that warms my heart more and brings more joy than the sights we are sharing together. My goodness, that guy is huge. Oh my gosh, look at this, Michelle. Oh my goodness. You guys 
ready to see Lou? I know we are. This is Lou, the oldest hippopotamus in the United States at 63 years old, and possibly the oldest hippo on the planet. That was about two hours exactly from mm -hmm. the time that we got off the boat to getting back and now yeah. take the tram. They got one more boat that's leaving here right now. We could take that back again, but we're gonna wait and take the tram. That way we can show you what the tram is like and where it takes you and if there's any cool sights there. And that way, if you don't wanna take the tram and you'd rather take the boat both, both ways, then you can. Or you can park over here. Your shadow stretching on the floor. Oh, oh really? Oh, that's interesting. I got a feeling that the glow deep inside my core needs to breathe to flow. Well, I would say best bet is to take the boat both ways because right. the tram really really wasn't that exciting no. other than the nice lady that we talked yes. to on the way. Back. And we got some information. <laughs> yeah. So it's a good thing we did go that way anyway. If you don't want to drive down there and you want to take the boat just for a little extra something, it is an extra $3, like we said, but... But that's person. round trip. So yes. whether, $3, whether you go one way or round trip, it's just $3. True, true. We recommend doing that because you see a little bit of wildlife going that way too. Yeah. It's kind of nice. And he tells you a little history. Yeah, I was going to say, and the captain tells the history. So. Whereas the other on the way back did not. Right. One of our followers had told us about a... Uh, place to stop to get some really good pie. In fact, the lady on the tram told us that yes, it is very good and they have an amazing breakfast. Yeah. Not breakfast time right now, no, but. Too late for that. We could try the pie. Definitely can try the pie. Um, I'm starved. Oh, I am too. I also want to say um, that this place is definitely worth coming here. Oh yeah. It's Let's beautiful. Start. It's uh, lots of, you know, birds and um, other just wildlife and even mm -hmm. though we didn't really get to see Lou up out yeah. of the water. Lou was, Lou was pretty lethargic today. <laughs> kind of like us. <laughs> Wanna go get some pie? Let's do it. Let's what? I don't know, let's, let's do it. Yeah. Let's do it. <laughs> I know you need it too Because we have been working hard Right from the very start Is this the back porch? That's the back porch. Front porch over here? Still think it's a nine? I still think it's a yeah. nine. He. I'm saying an eight, but. An eight? A whole point less? Well, I didn't eat the crust either, so. Yeah, you gotta have the crust with the caramel on the top. Yeah. Just come here, it's good. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel, click that little bell, and hit that thumbs up. See you next week.